hello you welcome back to my channel in my previous video we drafted a basic bodice pattern and i stated that we are going to use that basic bodice pattern to make it top so that's what we are going to be doing in this video if it's something you're interested in please keep watching yeah i have my front and back basic bodice pattern i have one yard of crepe fabric i have my zip my thread and my cutting scissors so let's go into it now Yeah, I'm going to cut out my front bodies using my front pattern. So that's what I'm basically doing here. Afterwards, I'm also going to use um, my back bodies to cut out my back pattern. Then, because we did not draft a basic sleeve pattern, I'm just going to cut out a simple sleeve. If you're interested in learning how to cut sleeve, you can comment uh, in the comment section. Then, I'll draft a pattern for or basic sleeves but yes I'm also going to cut the sleeves because I would love to add sleeve to this top so that's basically what I'm going to I'm doing right now while cutting your fabric please make sure that you notch your the necessary areas like your dart and also especially if you're working with fabric that both sides look alike please make sure that you mark the part that is the wrong side so that you know exactly which part you're going to be sewing on here i'm drafting my sleeve this is just a basic sleeve so i'm just drafting it directly on my fabric so i'm just going to cut it out the length of this sleeve is eight inches and my armhole circumference is 16 inches so 16 inches divided by two that's how i got my armhole curve and then the length is eight inches now i'm done cutting my sleeve so i'm going to now cut my facing i'm using the same fabric for my facing so i'm just going to use it to turn the neckline of the of the top for both the front and the back neckline please note that you can decide to use any material for your facing you can decide to use a lining you can decide to use the same fabric or maybe you just want to mix up and you can use a different color of fabric but yeah here I'm using the same material also you can decide to line the top from neck to down okay here we're done cutting our pieces out and now it's time to sew the top so what I did here is just to join the sides together right now I'm joining the back side to the front side I'm going to do that for both sides then I'm also going to join the shoulder after joining the shoulder I usually prefer to join them first before sewing my dart area so I'm going to just do that after that I'm going to sew my dart it's easier that way for me because with that I won't sew the wrong sides um, together so that's why I usually prefer to sew um, each side and the shoulder before sewing my dart. Because most of the time I've noticed when I sew my dart first, at the end of the day, I notice that I end up sewing um, the sides of the dart at the front side. Like I turn them um, the wrong sides facing each other and I sew the back with the front. So at the end of the day, I'll have to either loosen the dart or losing the size of the clothes so so now to make my work easy i usually just sew the side and the shoulder before i sew the dots because with that i know that i'm actually sewing the dots at the back of my outfit so yes i'm sewing the back and the front that here i'm just going to do that then after that we're going to go ahead to iron our pieces we're going to iron the areas that we've sewn just to have a neater finishing and then when we are done ironing we are going to now work on the sleeves before we work on our sleeves i'm going to work on the facing so what i did to my bodies my top i'm just going to do the exact same thing to my facing so i'm going to sew the sides together front to the back and then I'm going to sew the shoulder together 
and that's just all I'm going to do for my facing, the sides and the shoulder. Then after that, I'm going to pin the facing. I usually prefer to pin them together because when you pin them together, it is it helps you. Um, it helps ease some errors, like you not do lots of mistakes. Um, you know if the facing is the exact um, measurement with your actual top. So after pinning them together, I'll just sew the neckline um, of my facing with the neckline of my top. Then I'm going to double stitch it on the facing side of my fabric and then turn it and iron. So this is a very easy method. Um, I often use this method in almost all my sewing because I prefer to use my lining to turn instead of sewing the lining with the fabric and then sewing um, the edge, the sides together. So this is often like most of the time does what I do. Um, they always say it's, um, it's a lot of work, like it's like double sewing. But I honestly prefer it this way because it makes the work easy. It makes the work neater inside. So when you turn the fabric inside, all you're seeing is a very neat um, finishing inside. You're not going to see any thread or anything. So most of the time I do this because I think my clients, they also prefer this method because they like seeing the inside of their outfit. But then you can also sew your facing on your front pattern also sew your facing on your back pattern then join them together that's another method you can do that too so here i'm just ironing my neckline just to make sure that my facing is going to lay properly on my fabric okay we are um, done ironing our facing to our top so now i'm going to hem the down part of my top because afterwards I want to fix this zip and then I want to fix an open zip at the back so I have to hem the back the down part first so that the zip will run through um, the back through the hem directly on it so that's what I'm doing right now I'm hemming the down part of my top afterwards we are going to fix the zip Okay, so here I'm just going to pin my zip down on my top uh, before sewing through because I just want to be sure that um, the beginning of the zip, that's the hem of the zip, is directly on the hem of my top because uh, it's an open and closed zip, so it will um, I won't have an excess at the down part of my top. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm done. I'm fixing one side of the zip. I'm turning my fabric wrong side facing up and then I'm going to sew the other side of the zip. Afterwards, I'm just going to finish the zip and then like cut out the excesses of the zip at the top and then stitch the remaining part of the zip and that's basically it. Please also note that there are different methods of fixing a zip. You can decide to fix your zip whichever method that you understand better or which other method you prefer. For me, this is the method I usually use because most of the time I turn on my fabric in out and then I use my lining to turn my zip inside. So I always use this method. But you can place your zip directly on your fabric and top stitch it on your fabric without having to I, I don't know if you understand just use whichever method that you like so this is what I'm I was talking about I'm done with my zip and this is what it looks like it looks very lovely already <laughs> okay so now we're done with our top let's prepare the, the sleeves Okay, here I'm just trying to notch um, the center of my 
of my armhole curve on my sleeve because I didn't do that when I had cut on my sleeve then I'm now going to fold the hem of my sleeve then afterwards I'll join the sides of my sleeves together because I'm basically going to use the sleeve um, to pin the sleeve directly on my armhole and then sew through it so that's just how I fix my zip um, that's just how I fix my sleeve but another method is to open um, the sides of your top and then place um, the edge of the sleeve directly on the top then sew through from the hem of the sleeve through the armhole of your top so you just sew through the edges of um, from your sleeve down all the way to the down part of your top to the hem of your top so you just use whichever method that works for you but for me i sew the sleeve separately then i'm going to stitch the sleeve on the top before i use my facing to turn the sleeve like i said earlier i'm very particular about my finishing so this method works better for me because it gives me a neater finishing inside and i won't have to like weave my top or i won't have to like see threads inside and all so just watch i'm pinning my sleeve to starting from the edge of my of my armhole i'm pinning my sleeve through to the top and then i'm just going to sew it round i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve and then i'm going to show you what it looks like So I'm just going to do finishing touches to the top like notching the edge of my zip at the top of my top then I'm just going to show you how it looks like it looks very beautiful this is what it looks like and yes we're done with our top please if you enjoyed this video or if it was very helpful please subscribe to the channel like comment and share